guys know what? Working for you as Express made me a little lazy. Me wrong I'm not saying lazy as in a bad thing I'm just saying kind of lazy in in how I do things like let's take when do I was it. training for example yes you can right? so I trained just in an automatic uh, not an automatic I trained in a in a manual all right which was good you always want to you always want to get that that uh that stiff shift and your clutch down pack while you training on the brake, start the shot. Okay, put it in first gear. Everybody on the real slow. There you go. Come on, bitch. Don't you rear end guys now? Probably fine. I break this car. But unfortunately for US Express it's an all automatic fleet. But luckily for me, the first trainer was garbage. But the second trainer was was off. I mean, he was awesome. It's just unfortunate that I didn't have much time to train with him. But the little bit of experience that I did gain from him was 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 on point. Now during during the training process, of course, I did my logs. Um, I, uh, I did paper logs as well as the e-logs. Um, I've written down everything that I, you know, that I was supposed to do, like uh, where I'm going, uh, where I'm picking up from, the pickup number. I wrote all that stuff down, you know, and I took it in with me when I went to go pick up the stuff. Uh, but since going solo. You know, US Express had an app on the phone that pretty much gave you your, you know, pretty much gave you your plan. You know, tells you where to pick up at, tells you where fuel stops to go to, tells you, uh, and it tells you where to drop. It also gives you a route to go, you know, and, a, and the driver tag had a navigation. Um, so, you know, when you normally go in, let's say you go into the shipper or receiver, you, you, you will take your phone because all the information that you need is on the app in the phone. You know, and I pretty much, I pretty much got used to it. You know, I never, it was only a few times that I had to write stuff down, but not all the time. I never, I never, you know, written stuff down. So it's kind of, it kind of made me lazy to the fact that, you know, I got my phone. I keep my phone on me anyway. So I just go in there with my phone and, you know, read read the information off of there. That's different with this company. But it, make, it makes me do stuff that I didn't do at U.S. Express. Like, for example, you know, like I told you guys about the fuel. You know, we can't use all the fuel stops that I can use at U.S. Express. With this company, you can't do that. Um, they give you a fuel book, like I mentioned, like I mentioned previous time. I mean, times, previous times before. And in that fuel book, the places that I can go for fuel is the only places I can go in that fuel book. So... Now, I have to trip plan accordingly, accordingly to where I can get fuel. You see what I'm saying? I mean, does that make sense? Um, 
J.R. Swoogle. I, I'm beginning. I'm beginning to like this company more and more as I drive for them. Like I said, don't like the in dash camera. You know the nanny cam. You know, but I'm getting used to that too. I mean, you know, if if you do everything right, you really don't have too much to worry about. You know what I mean? I mean, if if you're not if if you're not if you're doing what you're supposed to do, then the drive cam is pretty much a mute point. Watch closely. That's 33-year-old truck driver Jorge Espinoza on the left of the screen, his wallet blocking the view of his dash camera. His empty fuel tanker is barreling down an Arizona highway at 65 miles an hour when the unthinkable happens. His 10,000-pound 18-wheeler plows right into three police cars and two fire trucks stopped at an accident scene. When initially questioned by police, Espinosa said he'd looked away from the road at a passing truck. But see here, there doesn't appear to be any truck. And at the moment of impact, right there, you can see Espinosa's white Galaxy 3 cell phone fly in the air. Police say he intentionally placed his wallet to block the dash camera while he was looking or manipulating his cell phone. Because it, it don't come on unless you do something stupid. So... Do I believe that it's not recording? No, I I know it's recording. Like that driver right there, you know, obviously it must have been recording way, you know, while he was on his phone before he, before he hit the crash. Because usually it's supposed to come on and record eight seconds before and four seconds back. So they really want to know what you was doing in the midst of that incident. But that looked like it was on steady record. You know what I'm saying? So that's how they found out that he was on his phone before he had the accident. Just do it! What's up? Good morning from the Toma yard here in Toma, Wisconsin. I might not even pronounce, be pronouncing that right, but anyway, good morning. So, this is J.R. Swoogle's Toma Yard. I've been to, um, I've been to the um, New Ulm Yard yesterday. I had to pick up a load from Kraft and drop off a, drop off a, um, drop off a driver here at Toma to pick up his truck last night but uh this morning i'm about to roll out about to head to ohio this company since i've been here with them man they they've been having me busy man i've been rocking ever since ever since i got the truck i haven't stopped rocking i mean it was it's pre-plan after pre-plan after pre-plan after pre-plan now don't get me wrong don't get me wrong i'm not saying that I don't like it, I'm loving it, all right? I'm like McDonald's right now, all right? I mean, dude, I have not had any issues with miles. I mean, I've been getting been getting good miles, been getting pre-planned, and I'm, I'm just out rocking, you know what I'm saying? So just do it! Make your dreams come true! So far, the most interesting place I've been to is the Craft Cave. experience right there don't let your dreams be dreams yesterday you said tomorrow what's up I'm about four hours away from my uh, destination which I will be there today I'm gonna have to overnight 
on uh, the property. Hopefully, I can do that when I get there. So, right now I took some time off to come over here to this Love's to get a shower. Now, not all truck stops look like this. I mean, some of them, some of them are really, really nice, you know. And some of the Love's are really, really nice. So, <laughs> you know, taking the shower every day you know we can't do that but I, I tell you one thing though when you do take that shower oh believe me it's like washing the the day or two day or three days away how many days that you wash away in about 10 15 minutes it's fucking awesome I really want to talk about is is orientation um how it is now versus when i first started when i when i first came into the game it was about it was about two years ago you know two two years two and a half years uh a year and a half i don't know it, it's been a long time since i got into the game but you know, when the recruiter came to the um, to the school where I went to go and get my CDLs, which was Tri C Truck Driving Academy, guys should check that out. If you're interested in getting your CDLs, I highly suggest Tri C Truck Driving Academy. They're a little expensive, but they get the job done though. So when she came there and you know she 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 poured on she poured on the spiel for us express it kind of got me hyped you know i'm new to this back then you know i i ain't think about you know i ain't think about going to do my homework i didn't do the youtube videos like you like you guys doing now i'm 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 sitting in i'm i'm sitting in a, a orient i mean not an orientation but a recruiter class of different truck driving schools at at Tracy and a lot of them came in and a lot of them came in and they poured or they poured it on thick uh YRC came in there poured on they they thing Snyder came in there and poured on they thing US Express came in there and poured on they thing and you know I, I say I sat about I sat in about maybe about 10 of them 15 of them so thick that i was like oh okay us express wow you get paid for your orientation you get uh you get this and your truck could be that and you get this throughout the year and blah 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 and all like that and i went to us express boom tomorrow so yeah. just US do express. it Get Make to the your dreams Got to the orientation. I, I talked to her that Thursday and I was in orientation that Monday. I was like, wow, that was cool. You know, they set us up in a hotel, which was kind of shitty in Springfield, Ohio. Um, the, the breakfast was shitty. The lunch was shitty. And they also didn't provide a lot of the stuff that the recruiter said they will provide you know but i was still in sight i get in there i get to the orientation uh it was a three-day it was a three-day orientation uh the first two days there you know they, you did the paperwork and watch a whole lot of videos and all that good stuff while the third day while the third day is pretty much the day you had to wait to see if you're hired on. Because see, back then, back then, they did all of the stuff that I would do now, you know, uh, get approved and all that other stuff while you're at the orientation. So you do not know if you're actually hired or not. You know what I'm saying? When you get to the orientation. And I say maybe about 3.30. I get called into the office. Now, 
I got called into the office like throughout the day because I had to come back, refill out paperwork, refill out the stuff that was on the Italian app and, and stuff like that. You know, they want to know uh, my past history. They want to know, uh, they, you know, they just want to know a lot of stuff while, you know, throughout the day. So when I came back in there at the last time I came back in there I finally got my fuel card and uh, I was assigned to train because you know I was coming I was fresh out of school now let me explain this to you guys uh, the difference between what the recruiters will tell you and the stuff that you will actually find out in the orientation okay recruiters will tell you all the stuff they'll tell you to get you in the orientation it's the it's the coordinators in the orientation job to keep you there all right recruiter told me hey there's a lot of options here at us express you got you can get dedicated you can get regional you can get otr you can get you can you can get a truck with with this, that, and the other in it, really dedicated that was available to me in my air in my so-called area was the dollar accounts. And they talked about that too. They said, hey, the dollar accounts is the best thing you can get. You can make about twelve hundred dollars, thirteen hundred dollars with the dollar accounts. But see what they failed to tell you that you have to work for it. And I mean work. This is what unloading a, unloading a truck at the dollar accounts. So this is a whole trailer. Whole trailer is loaded from bottom to top, box by box. That's the bottom. It's like 13 feet high. These boxes are loaded. On the floor, I gotta get them on that roller. Roll around that corner. And this is it. 13 feet. Well, 13.6 to be exact. Not only that, not only that, but the, the back end situations in most of those stores are in urban areas. They're at they're at stores that's off the street. They're at they're at little mini plazas that that has impossible back in situations. You know what I'm saying? Questions and performing tasks. The user may find the side effects extremely irritating and begin taking other drugs that have the opposite effect of what they are experiencing. Drug abuse can cause confusion in users. This side effect can happen in short term use of drugs. As the use becomes more frequent, the confusion will be seen to get worse. worse, 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 worse. Do it! They're in areas that you gotta that you gotta back up blind side. See, they don't tell you that stuff. They tell you all the good stuff, what you can, I mean, what you can make and all like that, but they don't tell you about all that other stuff. Same thing with leasing. They tell you, hey, you can make up to a dollar fifty, a dollar fifty per uh, per mile. They'll tell you all of the all of the good stuff that you can do with leasing. They'll tell you that the truck is yours. They'll tell you, that, well, not it's yours, but it will be yours after five or so years okay and then they'll tell you all the good stuff you can you can choose your lows you can reject lows you can do all that stuff we'll see what they fail to tell you is how much is the leasing every week that 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 stuff can come up to like seven seven hundred to a thousand dollars every paycheck so if you take off a couple of days you hit my recruiter sat there and said hey 
you know what makes the uh, U.S. Express so great? A lot of truck drivers, I went to a lot of truck stops and I talked to a lot of truck drivers and they tell me about their experience with their companies and blah, blah, blah. And that's why I chose to come with a uh, U.S. Express because they say U.S. Express was, was the premier company and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, by you being the driver for U.S. Express, you can go out and get an extra 15, what is it, 1500? I think it was 1500, maybe a thousand. I'm gonna go with the low end all right, and recruit some of these drivers and have them to come on the US Express. You know, and they, they pour that on too. They like, you know, with, with that you get a thousand dollars added on to your bonus and blah, blah, blah. But see, this is the real world, all right? I'm going to be honest with you. When you come to a truck stop, the last thing on your mind is to get out of the truck and recruit somebody. The best place to recruit is at the schools. But you're a driver. Listen, when I when I was when I was down for that week, everybody and their mama call me okay but let me explain something about that now now that now that everything is done online and everything is done if you have a smartphone everything is done through the Italy app on the smartphone and online you don't have to do all that you don't have to go through everything I went through in the beginning of my career. A drug test, uh, they made you do a physical, and they made you do um, tests uh, to what, well, it's a physical, you know? Now, I didn't think nothing of it. It's, it's the beginning of my career. I was happy to, I was happy to get in and get in where I fit in, so. At that time, it really didn't matter to me. You know what the hell I had to do. I, I would, I, I did any and everything to get my foot in the door, which I did do any and everything to get my foot in the door. And they got something that's called a duck walk. All right. Now, before I get, before I say what it is, you're not going to do this in real life. Believe me. And if they, when you go there and they say that you have to. Just do it just to get the job and trust me in the real life you're not going you're not going to do no duck walk under a trailer. Who the hell does that? Okay? But anyway, a duck walk. You 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 crouch all the way down like this. Uh preferably take your hat off if you have on one. And you got to walk like this under the table without touching anything without having your head touch the platform this is one video about uh about snyder's orientation in that video he said that was snyder and he says snyder had snyder orientation is like boot camp i'm, I'm sitting here watching like boot camp yeah they had you doing homework they had you doing uh uh extensive pre-trip and post-trip they got you doing push-ups <laughs> i'm just i'm just kidding no push-ups but they got you doing the uh the the uh the uh weight test the 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 knee to the 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 knee lift test to get into the trailer, the walk up under the trailer, all that stuff. And I said to myself, I'm like, well, I'm glad I didn't go through that. You know, when you guys go to these orientations, all right, make, make sure that you guys really look into it. And, um, and, and really, you know, Really, if you could pass them, 
Because like I said, Snyder, it's like boot camp, dude. Now that I found out about it, I, I don't want to fuck with it. You know? I don't want to go. I, I don't want to go through all of that. I've been through all of that. I'm too old for all of that. You know what I'm saying? If you can't bring me on to drive and get in out of the trailer and all like that, the way I know how to get in out of the trailer and and homework, who does homework? My son didn't even do homework. You know, and he went. He graduated out of high school, not bringing home one piece of homework through the four years he went. And I'm over here watching this video, dude. Like, yeah, they give you some homework that you got to do at the, at the, uh, when you go back to the hotel. Homework? Who do homework? What's that? Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. And, um, and hey, you know, company I work for, J.R. Shrugel, didn't have to go through all of that. You know, it was a three, actually with J.R. Shrugel, it was a four day orientation. Uh, the first three days was paperwork, videos, um, um, blood, I mean, not blood work, uh, drug tests and, and the road tests. That was about it. Then we came back. They taught us about the, about the Qualcomm. Next day, gave us our keys and rolled out. <laughs> so, JR Swoogle, I'm with them right now. I'm on their reefer division. I'm mid, um, I'm mid rest regional with home every week. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! <laughs>